Aquaproof 7-in-1. High-performing waterproofing paint, Nippon Paint. The coatings expert. At the crisis time, we were able to manage the tourists. We were able to give them a special full quota with travel agents. Electricity was supplied because in May, this is what people still keep talking, Sri Lanka had a power crisis, we had a food crisis, we had a food crisis. Some people ask us when we go, do you have food to eat in Sri Lanka? Does any one of us look like we are in hunger? We all eat two months. And Sri Lanka isn't having any problem like that. As I said, Sri Lanka is a very hospitable nation. We would not let anybody down, even us, even any human. Sri Lanka is a good example when COVID happened. There were many people who got stuck, stranded with their airports being closed. And there were Sri Lankan communities who kept people, foreigners, for over months and months until the countries opened up. That's Sri Lankan's hospitality. All what we have to give is our heart and our smile. And Sri Lankans have done that. And that's why people have fallen in love with Sri Lanka. It's a beautiful place. I would say it's a miracle if it's on its own. Unfortunately, I believe politicians in the country, which I am one to. We sit on a treasure and have not really marketed that treasure well. But don't we have, within two hours, by road, you can have all four seasons. You can have the coldest weather, coldest in Sri Lanka is not as this cold, but at least it goes up to 8 to 10 degrees, which is quite cold, which is decently cold. For you all, we have the summer, you go to the beach, you get to the surfing, you go to the whale watching, you go for your mountain climbing, hiking. So there are lots of new things Sri Lanka is doing and one thing that we really want to market now is our wellness tourism. We have a very big strong wellness tourism package and I've, I've met a lot of Germans who come to Sri Lanka for wellness, the Ayurvedic treatments, as well as the sun, the power, the positive energy, the yoga, the meditation. It has become very famous in Sri Lanka. I mean, the traditional was the beach, but Sri Lanka is no longer only the beach. I know lots of people go to Maldives, but Maldives just have the beach, I'm not criticizing, but you stay there for five days, you get fed up of it. That's it, you're just in island, you're caught up in one place. But Sri Lanka, it's not like that. It's, it's what you want, you can get. There is something for everyone, if you're older, if you're younger, if you want an adventure, we just started with the European Union, a thing called a Pico Trail. A Pico Trail is where you would do a trail right on the mountains for 22 days. So you don't have to finish it within 22 days, but you can take it on stages. You do the first stage for about four days, and then you go to the beach, you rest in about five more, six days, and then you go back to your country. But when you're on the desk in shivering cold, your memory will be at the Pico Trail to finish the next four days. So that's a concept that we have built. In Sri Lanka, what we want, Sri Lanka, is not to be a bucket list where you tick like you go to Thailand, I've been to Thailand, no. Sri Lanka isn't that. Sri Lanka is something that we want to offer more. Us, our hospitality, our love, our care, and our beautiful country. And what we have, when it comes to religious tourism, we are a very diverse nation. We have all religions, we respect every religion, and we even respect certain beliefs. So Sri Lanka has all that it has to offer. And all I could say, without going further and further and further, is that you need to visit next slide before you leave. The ITB, go make your booking to Sri Lanka.